keep getting cut off because my battery keeps dying oh my gosh hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to talk about my hair um and i in one of my videos i actually spoke about how i was struggling with my hair and what i've been doing to actually take care of my hair so basically i'm just going to talk about the issues that i've been having with my hair um my hair um i wasn't taking care of my hair so basically i became so lazy with my hair and, and it, it wasn't because uh, it's because i've been so busy um started uni and i'm still working full-time uni full-time and trying to i'm just trying to um kind of gonna organize myself and just didn't have time for my hair so i will have my hair even in a protective style but still not moisturizing my hair and no um deep conditioning my hair regularly not treating my hair regularly so i found myself with my hair kind of getting thin and breaking and it wasn't retaining length at all even till now i'm not retaining that much length but it's getting better and um so what i did and and i realized i also realized that my eye level was very low so when you're you're having issues with your hair you have to check yourself inside and out so i i've re i realized that my my uh iron level was low so that's one of the reason why you will shed um and sometimes you have no problems and stuff like that so as i taking iron tablet and one of the major things that has been uh, helpful to my hair especially because it was getting it was it was getting a little it was getting brittle and and it was breaking easily um what i've been doing is just doing treatment on my hair and making sure that my hair is getting back to its healthy state and not only that i've been watching what i've been eating as well um not as for losing weight as for eating the right um diet doing a lot of nice smoothie with a lot of nutrients and antioxidant and all that and also taking um vitamins um because we don't always take all our um supplement for the day in our food that we eat every day so it's very important to have um uh, vitamins to take vitamins uh, just to complement what we're not taking uh, in our food um, so I take vitamins and I, t I take my iron tablet because I do have low iron so I do suffer from anemia and, and I do have low iron so I have to make sure that my iron level is at its best um, what I've been doing for the treatment for those who would like to know uh, in order for me to retain my hair and to get that fullness back on my hair as you can see I've got my hair in a high bun I can't really show you my hair right now but my hair is getting so much better it's getting healthy um, it's getting so much better and, and that's because I've been taking extra care of my hair and it's not taking extra I just realized it's you not know, me taking extra time out of my schedule it's just you know you go and have a shower just wash your hair what I do I do a lot of co-washing no shampoo washing and yeah i do a lot of that and i do a lot of um, conditional washing and i've realized that my hair has become really really soft i hardly use shampoo nowadays i think i've used in three months i used shampoo once and people might seem weird because it was weird to me as well when i first started doing it but i just wanted to see if there was a difference and there is a huge difference especially for someone with full C hair I've realized that using less shampoo I'll probably come to a point where I won't use shampoo at all um, but using less shampoo has actually helped me to um, um, to have softer hair and moisturized hair because our hair craves for moisture kinky hair tightly coiled hair really craves for moisture so that's why I'm really taking I'm staying away from shampoo a little bit because it kind of strips us of all the good moisture that we need on our hair so I'll be staying away from shampoo so what do I do to cleanse my hair I use conditioner this works well for conditioner cleansing I'm not saying you should stop using shampoo what I'm saying is that 
um, this is what I'm try I've tried and I've been trying it for a couple of months uh, since um, summertime since I came back from Tanzania I think since June I think and it's been working out for me and um, and I, I enjoy um, doing the conditioner wash and for my scalp and everything to detox all the you know all the dirt and everything I use a uh, bentonite clay bentonite clay is good for take um, detox detoxifying uh, the skin especially um, the skin the face even the hair so I use it on my scalp as well and it takes care of all that and I do the bentonite clay once a month um, when I really need that yeah that's what I do when it comes to cleansing my cleansing routine has become so easy guys when I go into the shower and I I can uh, I, I cleanse my 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 hair with conditioner I don't brush my hair in the shower I, I only finger detangle I find that finger detangling for kinky hair seems to work best for me anyway uh, instead of using the brush I find that even if you use the brush your hair will curl back up so and it, it, it will still have a little bit of tangling so what's the point of me brushing my hair uh, you, with finger detangling you can actually take out all the shared hair which, which causes most of the detang detangling on our hair so you can take out most of the shed hair sometimes i do that while my hair is still dry and then when i get into the shower i just use the conditioner and just take out all the shed hair that's what i do the only time i actually use the brush is when i want to style my hair or when i want to do a twist out i like my my twist out to be smooth so i will brush my hair but other than that I, I will just go into the shower, wash my hair with a conditioner. Once I'm done, I put it up in a bun and I'm good. And um, and once I feel like my hair needs washing again, I just go into the shower. I can do that twice a week, depending on how my hair feels. Just wash my hair. Sometimes I don't even use the conditioner. If I've already done that during the week, I'll just go and rinse my hair with water, apply leave-in conditioner, and then, then I'm good. This is how I've been taking care of my hair, and it's been working for me. And um, another thing I wanted to talk about is um, so once you once I wash my hair, um, what do I use for my um, for my I do a deep I do my deep treatment. I have two different deep treatment that I do. I do have the moisturizing deep treatment and I have the protein deep treatment deep treatment. For the protein deep, deep treatment, I do have a video. I'll link it in the description box. It's my Greek yogurt treatment. Um, it's a recovery treatment. I will have that in the description box. I have to say I stopped I stopped using that for a long time. And when I started having troubles with my hair, I went back into using it and it seems to be working fine for my hair. It's so easy. Uh, you don't have to buy the most expensive product on the market. You can just use what you have at home. And that's what I've been doing. And I really don't have time to go shopping. Even when it's online, it's like it takes so much of my time to figure out which product I should buy. I just stick to the ones that I know right now. If I do, I do have companies that send me products. I like to try them, and I'm gonna talk about one of them that I've used as well, and it's good. If you're not one, want to um, do the bentonite clay yourself at home, um, the DIY one, which I'll have a video for hopefully very soon. You can try this one. This one is the Russell Cocoa and Honey Deep Hair Treatment from Mahogany Naturals. And this was sent to me to try and I've been using it a lot. She sent me ages ago. And I've been using it ages um I've been using it a lot uh, on my hair. Um, be, um especially when I don't have time to do my make um Benton and clay mix. I'll just use this deep treatment. This is actually a um um what's it called? It says this stuff is super luxurious, melts and it tangles away, stop breakage in, in its track. Great for, um, great for detangling and stuff like that. Um, because of the fact that it's got bentonite clay in it, it's good for detoxifying. I've used this so many times and I like it. So companies send me products and I'll try that product, but actually I don't go to the shopping. But I don't, I don't do that much shopping when it comes to my hair anymore like I used to do in the past. And that's not because I don't like the companies, it's just because 
it's just convenient for me i'll put a link on where you can find natural hair products in the uk um and there are so many um online uh, companies that do that. For my leave-in conditioner, I actually have a couple of products that I, I do like. I know I said I don't go shopping, but I do have a couple of products that I like. I have three products that I like as my leave-in conditioner and they work perfect for my hair. Mind you, leave-in conditioner is fine. You can use it as a moisturizer as well, but make sure that you don't forget to treat your hair and um, um, wet your hair once a week even if you don't want to wash it wet, it wet it with water um, it's very very important your hair crave like kinky hair craves water um, but this um, leave-in conditioners are, are really really nice as well the first one I want to talk about is the direct leave-in from uh, Giovanni this product is one of my long-term um, products I, I used it when I first big chopped my hair and I had really dry hair and then um, this really helped me and work and I was using it with this as well so these are my old products that I used when I first went natural um, and I'm happy that I I, I was I was in a Whole Foods and I found it and just decided to try it again and I kind of fell in love with it again um, it hasn't gone down that much because I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to keep it for myself, but it's um it's a really good one. The next one is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. A lot of people ask me um, what leave-in I use. I do get a lot of questions like that. Um, this is my my staple. I, I I never change that. I even got my sister to uh, try it, and she loves it as well. She uses it. On her hair my sister's hair is healthy like growing so healthy and so good um, I would uh, if you go into onto my Instagram you will see some pictures of my sister's hair I've, I've posted them on Instagram and um, this living conditioner works really really well for our kinky hair some people we really um, we lose the curls we use it as a um, as a styling product um, but it, it just works as a leave-in for me and it, it's really good I just want to see show you what it looks like inside it's just white um, just a white cream but it works perfect perfect for the hair I absolutely love it love it the last leave-in conditioner is my new favorite newfound love uh, it's the Shea Moisture um, black Jamaica castor oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner absolutely amazing this is what it looks like and this <laughs> I have to say this thing it is 12 pounds in boots um, but for 12 pounds you do get a lot of products it's actually 431 mil of products that you get um, this I've used it, I've been using this is what I now use on my hair every day I've kind of ditched this for a bit now I'm using this every day on my hair this is what I use today to get this bump done and this product is absolutely amazing I will I would recommend it. I did recommend it to my sister as well when it came out and I told her how good it felt on my hair and she bought it as well. But I did I haven't actually asked her to see to check um if she likes it. Um but I do like it and yeah it works really well for my hair. But for those who wants to, who um you, oh you can find this in boots now in the boots in Liverpool Street. Uh, which is my nearest boot? No, it's not my nearest boot, but it's the the boots where they sell the nearest boot where I can find it. Um, yeah, they, it, it, they sell it there for twelve pounds, and this you can find it in the hair shop, and then this is in Whole Food Market, and um, also you can also find Shea Moisture product product online for those who don't have time to go into the shop. I'll I'll put the link of. Um, the online shop um, that I uh, that I know that sell natural hair products. They do have a variety of um, natural hair products. I'll put that in the description box. Um, yeah, and since I've been taking just taking care of my hair and 
taking care of my hair inside and out making sure that I'm healthy inside and just taking care of my hair outside to retain length I've seen a bit of a difference and I just want to keep doing that so that um, my hair can get healthy and start retaining length it's not that my hair is not growing it is growing my sister even sees it you can see from the t um you can't even see where I, I dyed my hair it's actually at the top now but the problem I have right now is not the fact that my hair is not growing my hair is growing but not retaining a lot enough length so i've been working on that and it seems to be working for me so if you do have problems with um your hair and and you've had problems retaining your hair and you do have a few advice we're all here to learn i'm not an expert in natural hair i'm an expert in my own hair um but i i, I don't I, I i don't mind uh, listening to other people's advice please put it in the comment i love to see when people are interacting especially in natural hair videos let me know what you've done on your hair when you had struggles with your hair breaking and not retaining length and shedding excessively and also um i hope this video is going to help those who are struggling um the key thing for me is just taking care of your hair inside and out Find out if there's something, if you're anemic or you're not healthy enough inside that will help you with your hair. Take vitamins. I'm not saying you should take the hair vitamins that you see everywhere. Um, just take vitamins so that you can have um, the supplement that your body needs and that will help you not only with your hair with other aspects of your health as well. Deep treatment is very very important. The moisturizing treatment on your hair, um, um, protein treatment on your hair is very important. It does help a lot. Um, and um, washing your hair once a week with shampoo or without shampoo I prefer not using shampoo now but now because my hair is now softer and really nice and it, there's a difference I even I had my friend touch my hair so she could feel the difference in the texture of my hair but that doesn't say that my hair did not um, wasn't shedding and wasn't breaking it was soft but it was still breaking and it was still shedding and that was because I wasn't doing any treatment to my hair and and I decided that I decided to do more treatment to my hair just retain it. but if you have a video request or um, questions I do get a lot of questions from now on I'm just gonna write down all the questions that I get um, about my natural hair and um, from everyone even my family whatever and I'm just gonna put everything in a video and answer the question uh, a lot of the question I do get is on the products that I use. Uh, my advice to you is to try different products and find one that works for you because this works for me, uh, might not work for you. I didn't talk about my styling products because I've not been using them much lately because I've not really been styling my hair. My style is the bun. That's it. Um, um, but I haven't really been doing twist out and all that so I've run out of my styling product for those who don't know my three favorite styling products uh, is the be unique hair care um, um, mango twist <laughs> and um, the uh, mixed root um, custard gel custard something um, I'll have the name in the description box and also the curls heavy cream That's why I, I use for styling and they, they've been my favorite for a long time Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'm so sorry. I haven't done any um, hair videos for a long time haven't really been doing much to my hair apart from protecting styling um, to it and and also I've been having issues with my hair as well so I didn't want to do too much to it and um, and also been focusing on my makeup video as you guys may um, although I don't know if you know I am a freelance makeup artist and makeup is my passion and I wanted to get out more of my makeup videos on YouTube but I haven't forgotten my natural hair sisters and I will have natural hair videos as well I do have ideas in my head 
on styling especially for holidays coming up very soon so watch out for that and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video